Hey y'all, I'll make a quick video on how to get this uh, upper handguard retainer spring off of a Garand with no special tools and without damaging your upper handguard. This is a replacement uh, CMP handguard and I want to replace it with an original. Um, there is a special tool for this. It is not expensive, but I have ADD and I know that if I don't get a project done, then um, like immediately, then it's just not going to get done. So you can see I've already got a couple of small chunks of wood missing out of here um, because I tried this with snap ring pliers and some other stuff um, and just kept taking a little bit of wood out so I stopped but then I had a brainwave. If you take a 7-8 socket that fits you know, pretty nice and snug down in there, you can just take it and pop it down in there to spread that clip a little bit. Then take something like you know the shank of a very small like precision screwdriver and hold it kind of like right about there and it's going to be difficult for me to do i've taken a snap ring plier out and you see the tip on the end here has a hook that just ever so slightly kind of angles so what i'm going to do is hopefully i can keep this in frame i'm going to use the tip of this hook and just lever out let's try it on i think this side would be better yeah get a better hold on stuff. So I'm going to take this tip and lever it out just a hair and just work that spring up and over onto the wood and then it basically slides right off. Right like that. Now you're going to have a little bit of scratching there, no big deal. Um, and you can see a little bit of damage there from when I was trying to pry at it using full snap ring pliers and a flathead and some other weird stuff. Now to put it back on, I would stress, put your socket back in the wood like this to give it some support. And then I'm not gonna put it back in because I just took it out, but you can hook, it doesn't really seem to matter uh, which side. Now, if you look at this, it is directional. There's one side of the spring hook is kind of higher then another, which there, you can see it there, sort of matches up like that. So you could just take one side of this, hook it over your wood, and then work the other side, you know, push it on down, and it'll just snap over. And if you get to the end and it's got some resistance, just do the inverse of what you did to take it off. Use a little piece here to give you um, a little bit of room and leverage, and then take something like your snap ring pliers here, and just give it just pop it up just a little bit as you're pushing down over here and it'll fall right into place.